The Nightingale, R. Barnfield. How powerfully we can be influenced by a simple bird song. The pretty picture of enjoying nature's bounty in a lovely myrtle grove lifts the heart with springtime joy. It is no place to think unpleasant thoughts. Except when hearing the mournful sound of a nightingale among the roses, the haunting sound almost makes the listener weep. The little bird sings happily unaware of any dolefulness in tone, and on and on until the once happy listener's thoughts turn all to thoughts of despair. But sadly, nothing cares about the great sadness felt by the listener. The Nightingale poem is dramatic in the sense of showing us the power of simply sound. As it fell upon a day in the merry month of May, sitting in a pleasant shade, which a grove of myrtles made. Beasts did leap, and birds did sing, trees did grow, and plants did spring. Everything did banish moan, save the nightingale alone. She, poor bird, as all forlorn, leaned her breast up till a thorn, and there sung the dolefulest ditty, that to hear it was great pity. Fie, 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 now would she cry, to to by and by, that to hear her so complain, scarce I could from tears refrain, for her grief so lively shone, made me think upon mine own. Ah, oh, thought I, thou mournst in vain. None takes pity on thy pain. Senseless trees, they cannot hear thee. Ruthless beasts, they will not cheer thee. King Pandion, he is dead. All thy friends are lapped in lead. All thy fellow birds do sing, careless of thy sorrowing. Even so, poor bird, like thee, none alive will pity me.